Hey, this is Adrian over BHA here bringing you another video. Now, I talked about this in my status update, and I was actually supposed to do it last month, but I didn't get it done. So here we are. This is the how to control devices that are connected to your Harmony Hub in Home Assistant. I did this video about a year and a half ago or something like that. I know there were some updates to Harmony, and for a while it didn't even work with Home Assistant at all. So I felt like it was time to uh, give it another shot, get an updated video out there, and uh, show you guys uh, that it does still work. So let's check it out. You can still buy these devices on Amazon or uh, you know Best Buy or wherever. Uh, about 60 bucks, a little bit less. Um, actually probably get it cheaper on eBay. But this is the one that I have. It's a, a Harmony Hub. It controls up to eight devices. It'll do IR and Bluetooth. So definitely um, more expensive than like a, a Broadcom or something like that. But um, if you already had one of these uh, that you were using, uh, kind of like I did before I really got into Home Assistant, then uh, I hate to let it go to waste, so it's definitely worth uh, getting it implemented in Home Assistant so that you uh, have that much more control over it. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course, uh, for starters, we're going to add our Harmony component in Home Assistant. Uh, once we get that added, then uh, I'm just going to show you the uh, Harmony Hub config file that Home Assistant will create uh, once it recognizes the new component and everything. After that, we are going to create some test scripts. So uh, we'll create a test script uh, to use with a Harmony activity. Uh, once that's done, we'll kind of see it in action just to show you that it does work and everything. After that, we will uh, go ahead and create a script to just control a device. Just send a command to a specific device that's connected to your Harmony Hub. And then, of course, lastly, uh, I'll show you what that script looks like in action. So let's get started. It's pretty easy to add this device into Home Assistant. So really all we need to do is uh, edit our remotes.yaml file, or if you don't have a remote.yaml file, you can just add it into your main configuration. But I have all my various uh, remote components uh, in their own YAML file, so that's where I'm gonna add mine. So find an open spot down here at the bottom. All right, the platform is going to be uh, Harmony. As for the name, you can call it whatever you want. My Harmony Hub is in my game room, so we are going to uh, name mine Game Room Hub. And then the host is just going to be the IP address of your Harmony Hub. So obviously you're going to want to have uh, a static IP address on that device, um, either through some sort of DHCP reservation or whatever. Otherwise, obviously you're going to have trouble controlling it if it comes up and changes its IP address. All right, once we got all that in there, we'll go ahead and save it. And we'll just jump over here to Home Assistant. So I'm going to click on the server control section right here. And uh, we'll do a check config. And we're going to restart Home Assistant. We'll give that a second to come back up. In the meantime, let's jump over to the next step. All right, so once uh, Home Assistant comes back online uh, after, it, uh, after that reboot, uh, it will create a, uh, a config file that will have all of the uh, devices that it's pulled in from the Harmony Hub and whatever activities you might have created on the Harmony Hub. The name of the config file is usually harmony underscore and then whatever the name of your uh, hub is. So mine came up as harmony underscore game room underscore hub dot comp. So we're going to open that up. 
And as you can see at the top of the file, it has whatever activities you have uh, created. I don't have a whole lot. I don't do a lot with activities, but I got three of them in there. And then as you can see here, uh, there's all the devices. There's my Nintendo Wii. And as you can see under each device, um, it lists out what commands it is able to uh, send to the device. So there's, uh, there's my uh, Samsung TV and all of its commands. There is my receiver. So everything's listed in there. And as you see everything, the commands and uh, activities and everything in here are all case sensitive. So when we use these in writing our scripts in Home Assistant, we need to make sure we write them exactly how they're listed in the config file. All right, let's jump over to the next step. All right, so this first script that we're going to create is using uh, an activity that is already created in Harmony. So like I said, I don't use a lot of activities. Uh, I like to do most of my stuff in Home Assistant. Uh, but if you're adding a Harmony Hub that you've been using for a while and already has a whole bunch of uh, activities, then uh, you're going to be able to use those in Home Assistant as well. And this is going to show you how to do that. Now we're creating test scripts. We can use these with automations or scenes or anything like that. So I'm going to edit my test scripts.yaml file here, find an open spot down at the bottom. I'm going to create two test scripts. So I don't know if you remember, but I have an activity called uh, Play Xbox One. So I'm going to create a script to turn on that activity and create a script to turn it off. Now basically what that activity is doing is it will turn on my Xbox, it will turn on my TV, and it will switch the TV to the correct input so that it should just automatically all work. Not a whole lot to the activity, but you get the idea as what you could do with this. All right, so I'm going to call it Turn On Play Xbox One Activity. Uh, I'll set the alias. I'm just going to say Turn On Play Xbox One. Uh, let's see here, sequence for the service, it's going to be remote.turn underscore on. Um, entity ID, that's going to be the, uh, the hub that we're using. So mine is remote.gameroom underscore hub. Data for the activity, we're just going to call it exactly what it, it is in uh, that config file. Remember, it's case sensitive, so it's going to be play Xbox One. That's exactly how I have it in the config file. And then we're going to create one more for turning this back off. I'm going to call this one turn off play Xbox One activity. Uh, alias will be turn off play Xbox One. Uh, let's see, the service for this one will be remote.turn underscore off. We'll need to list our entity ID again, which is remote.gameroom underscore hub. And then, of course, the activity again is play Xbox One. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And let's jump back over to our uh, web interface here. We're going to do a check config just to make sure everything is entered correctly. And then we can do a reload scripts. So we won't have to fully reboot Home Assistant for the changes to pick up. Once that's done, let's move on to the next step. All right, we're going to see the script in action. I don't know if you can actually see it, but I, uh, I'm in here with the lights off, but my TV is in front of me. You can kind of see the little red light down at the bottom down there. I put the two scripts uh, in Home Assistant up here in the corner. We're going to click on Turn On Play Xbox One. And as you can see, it almost immediately turned on the TV. Lights started blinking. 
uh, saw the Samsung logo come on, and you can see it's already in the Xbox. Everything is up. Everything looks good. Bam. I mean, it's pretty quick, pretty responsive. I like it. All right, let's try the other script. So we're going to do turn off play Xbox One. And again, almost immediately, the TV went off. Everything turned off. I mean, it's as quick as that. So, I mean, even though we're going from Home Assistant to Harmony Hub to devices, it's actually pretty responsive. Works pretty quickly. All right, so let's create a script to just send a command to a device manager in Harmony. All right, so again, we're gonna edit our test scripts.yaml file here. I'm gonna create two more scripts. So we're just gonna power on the TV and power it off. I'm gonna call this one power on Samsung TV. Alias, of course, we'll say power on Samsung TV. All right, for the service, it's going to be remote.send underscore command. Entity ID again is room hub. The command again is also case sensitive just like the config file so it's power on where the p and the o were capital and then of course the device just as it's listed in the config file as well samsung tv all right let's do another one for powering off the tv so we'll say power off samsung tv uh set the alias to power off samsung tv The service, of course, is remote.send underscore command. The entity ID will be remote.gameroomhub. Just as the previous script, the command is power off. And the device is Samsung TV. Once we have all that in there, let's go ahead and save it. We're going to jump back over to the web interface one last time. And we'll check the config, make sure everything looks good, and then click on Reload Scripts. We'll give that a second to update and we will jump over to the last step all right so just as before uh, i'm in the game room it's dark so the tv's there you can kind of see the lights but uh it's not on yet obviously we got the home assistant uh scripts that we created up in the corner here so we're going to click on power on samsung tv And the TV came up. There's no signal because we didn't tell any other device to turn on. So it's just the TV. And then let's execute the power off command. And boom. Almost immediately it turned the TV back off. So that's it. We're now controlling whatever devices we have configured in our Harmony Hub in home assistant pretty awesome still works even after whatever updates and uh you know they managed to update the component to work with whatever changes were made to harmony's uh setup so like i said uh probably not worth going out and buying one of these um when you could probably get a broadcom or something cheaper if you already had one of these laying around or you were using it before you started home assistant then at least now you have a way to get it implemented into home assistant 
So let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, for starters, we added our Harmony component to Home Assistant. Uh, once we completed that, we uh, we just kind of took a look at the Harmony Hub config file. Uh, once we did that, we went ahead and created a test script to use with a Harmony activity. After that, we just kind of tested that script in action to show you what it looks like. Um, once we did that, we went ahead and created a script uh, to use with a Harmony device. And then lastly, of course, we showed you what that looked like in action. So again, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, Hopefully this will help anybody that has a Harmony Hub that hasn't got it implemented in the Home Assistant yet. It's really easy to set up. As you can see, there's not a whole lot to it. I was worried when I first started messing with it that uh, this component wasn't going to work anymore uh, with the changes that Harmony made or Logitech made to the Harmony Hub. But it looks like uh, they managed to update the component and everything looks great. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.